Will the Voyager probes survive a crash into the Oort cloud? What if humanity's most ambitious space explorers are quietly drifting toward the most mysterious and potentially treacherous region of our solar system? Launched in 1977, the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 probes have spent nearly five decades traversing the cosmos, defying all odds and expectations. Initially designed to study the outer planets, these spacecraft have far outlived their original mission and are now venturing into the unknown interstellar space. As of 2025, Voyager 1 sits over 15.5 billion miles from Earth, while Voyager 2 trails not too far at nearly 13 billion miles away. These silent emissaries of human ingenuity are still moving outward, destined to encounter one of the solar system's most enigmatic features, the Oort Cloud. Before diving into whether the Voyagers will face peril in the Oort Cloud, Let's take a moment to appreciate the incredible journey they've been on. Voyager 1 and 2 were designed with one primary goal, to give humanity its first up-close look at the gas giants of our solar system, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Equipped with state-of-the-art instruments for the 1970s, at least, they captured breathtaking images and invaluable data that transformed our understanding of these distant worlds. Voyager 1 famously delivered the first detailed images of Jupiter's raging storms and Saturn's intricate ring system, while Voyager 2 became the first and only spacecraft to visit Uranus and Neptune. These were monumental achievements, but the Voyagers weren't done yet. Each probe was equipped with a gravity assist trajectory, allowing them to slingshot around the planets and gain enough momentum to break free of the sun's gravitational pull. This clever maneuver set them on a one-way ticket out of the solar system, making them the first human-made objects to enter interstellar space. Voyager 1 officially crossed the heliopause, the boundary where the solar wind gives way to the interstellar medium, in 2012, while Voyager 2 followed in 2018. These milestones mark humanity's first physical steps into the vast expanse beyond our solar system. But where exactly are they headed? Both probes are on a trajectory that will eventually take them through the Oort Cloud, a theoretical region of icy bodies that surrounds the solar system like a giant cosmic bubble. The Oort Cloud is thought to begin at a distance of about 2,000 astronomical units, EU, from the Sun and extend as far as 100,000 Australian dollars. To put that into perspective, Earth is just one Australian dollar from the Sun and Voyager 1 the farthest human-made object from Earth is currently about 166 Australian dollars away. This means that the Voyagers are still centuries away from reaching even the inner edge of the Oort cloud. Based on current estimates, it will take Voyager 1 around 300 years to enter this region and up to 30,000 years to pass through it entirely. Before we go deeper into the Oort cloud like our Voyager fellas, let's talk about what it really is and what makes it a dangerous and treacherous destination. The Oort Cloud is a theoretical construct, meaning no one has directly observed it yet. Scientists infer its existence based on the behavior of long-period comets, those that take thousands of years to orbit the Sun. These comets, with their icy tails and elongated orbits, are thought to originate from this distant reservoir of primordial material left over from the solar system's formation. The Oort Cloud is divided into two regions, the Inner Oort Cloud, or Hills Cloud, which is denser and closer to the Sun, and the Outer Oort Cloud, which is more diffuse and extends much farther into space. But here's the thing, the Oort Cloud is mind-bogglingly vast and, paradoxically, incredibly sparse. Imagine a giant sphere of icy debris stretching a quarter of the way to the nearest star. Now. Picture this sphere as mostly empty space, with individual objects separated by millions of kilometers. The total mass of the Oort cloud is estimated to be only a few Earth masses spread across a volume so immense that it's practically a void. This makes the Oort cloud both an intriguing scientific mystery and an unlikely obstacle course for the Voyager probes. While we're still far from directly observing or exploring the Oort cloud, its potential hazards can't be completely dismissed. Scientists believe it contains billions, or perhaps trillions, of icy bodies 
ranging in size from tiny grains to massive objects several kilometers across. Most of these objects are thought to be composed of water, methane, ammonia, and other volatile compounds, similar to the nuclei of comets seen closer to Earth. Occasionally, gravitational disturbances, such as a passing star or the tidal forces of the Milky Way, can nudge these icy bodies out of the Oort cloud, sending them hurtling toward the inner solar system as comets. However, the sheer scale of the Oort cloud means that the chances of any two objects colliding are extraordinarily low. This immense sparseness is a crucial factor when considering the Voyager's journey. While the Oort cloud is technically the next region of the solar system that the probes will pass through, it's not exactly a dense minefield of debris. In fact, the space between objects and the Oort cloud is so vast that it's more accurate to think of it as a cosmic desert, with the occasional oasis of icy material scattered across an otherwise empty expanse. But even with that in mind, the question remains, could the Voyager's two tiny spacecraft hurtling through the void accidentally collide with one of these icy relics? Returning to the question at hand, scientists frequently emphasize that the Oort cloud is simply too sparse for a collision to be a serious concern. Even with billions of objects floating out there, the space between them is so large that it would take an extraordinary coincidence for one of the Voyagers to hit anything. And remember, the Voyagers are moving through space at tremendous speeds, about 17 kilometers per second. At that velocity, they're essentially threading a needle through an already almost empty void. Their small size only further reduces the odds of a collision. To put it bluntly, the chances are so low that they're practically negligible. Still, the Oort cloud remains one of the most mysterious regions of our solar system. We've never directly observed it, it's possible that there are aspects of its structure or composition that we don't yet understand. For example, there could be clusters of material or rogue objects we haven't accounted for. While these unknowns don't significantly change the odds of a Voyager collision, they do remind us of how much we have yet to learn about this distant frontier. The Voyager probes continue their silent march toward the Oort cloud and beyond. It's 100% awe-inspiring to think about what lies ahead for these tiny ambassadors of humanity. Their journey is far from over, even though their ability to communicate with us will soon come to an end. Now, as we wrap up this cosmic odyssey, let me ask you, what do you think the Voyagers represent for humanity? Are they symbols of our curiosity and ingenuity? Or do they remind us of the fleeting nature of our existence in the universe? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content about Voyager, watch our last Voyager video that we made as a premiere in the end screen. And if you're fascinated by space exploration, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Digital Discoveries, for more mind-blowing content about the cosmos.